This is why if you look at the, one of the best du'as in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the du'a informs us of the importance of this worldly life and how important it is to be a successful person who has happiness in the dunya. That can only come with, with the discipline of Islam, with the discipline of the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا وَمَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقًا From amongst the people there are some who ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, Oh Allah grant us in this dunya, but they don't have a portion of the akhirah, of the life after death. Grant us in this world. They only make dua for this world. Ya Allah, I need the job. Ya Allah, I need the health. Ya Allah, I need the wealth. Ya Allah, I need a spouse. Ya Allah, I need... This, I need a car, I need a house, I need an increase, I need a salary, I need what, what, I need good health and so on. All these du'as are good, but what du'a did you make for the life after death? You will get your promotion, you will get your wealth, you will have your car, you will have your health, you will have a spouse, you will have children. May Allah grant that to us. But did you ever think that one day you have to leave all of that? What this would mean is your expertise that Allah gave you, the ability to produce, mashallah, to be productive by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have utilized all of that to build an empire for yourself, to be able to be happy and smart smile and look at everything and press a remote your garage opens press a remote your car opens press a remote the car starts look at the kettle in the kitchen and it starts subhanallah imagine today you can look at something and it starts operating i'm sure a lot of you have the phones where you look at it and it scrolls down you look away and the video stops you see how it's working so all this is part of the dunya but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ From amongst them, they are those who rightly call out to Allah, saying, Oh Allah, grant us the goodness in the dunya. Goodness meaning the success and the happiness and all that which comes with this beautiful world that Allah has created for us. Grant us the success in the dunya and grant us the goodness of the life after death as well. So it is a balance. And on top of that, another dua to say and save us from the punishment of the fire. So we believe that is why we say save us from the punishment of the fire. There are people out there who do not believe in the life after death. They do not believe that there will be Jannah or Jahannam, paradise or hellfire. So they do not ask Allah for paradise, nor do they ask Allah for protection from hellfire because they don't believe. And sometimes we believe, but we forget to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, when you have a beautiful vehicle or a car or a house or anything of that nature, conveyance, something nice, a watch, or perhaps a mobile phone, anything. Ask Allah, Ya Allah, grant me Jannah. Ya Allah, grant me paradise. Ya Allah, this thing here is temporary. This apparatus, this tool I have is your gift to me to facilitate the short life that I have in this world. Yes, I will contribute as best as I can for the rest of humanity to be able to live a comfortable life, but with the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Ya Allah, grant me paradise so that I can enjoy whatever is there in the paradise. May Allah grant it to us. So this attitude needs to improve. The way we treat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should not be with laziness. It should not be as though I have a choice about it. In Surah Al-Ahzab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنٍ وَلَا مُؤْمِنَةٍ إِذَا قَضَى اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ أَمْرًا أَنْ يَكُونَ لَهُمُ الْخِيَارَةُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِمْ It is not befitting or it is not for a believing male or female that when Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have declared something that he or she feels that I have a choice about it. A true believer believes I don't have a choice. It is Allah. He has decided this and I will do it. If my weakness makes me dilly dally, I need to make sure I repent. And as soon as I can, I need to get back on track. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us people who understand.